Hello everyone, this is Mesa, and I'm welcoming you to a 2 vs 2 on the Fall to Samurai expansion for Shogun 2. So yeah, been a while since I've done one of these, haven't it? Yeah, I know. You know, it's been like a, been a lot of schoolwork recently, and then just life in general, so haven't really been able to do anything. And this game I played about a month ago, but still, it's a um, pretty decent 2v2, so... Let's see. I got Blackberry Infantry. I got Royal Marines. White Pair. Uh, White Pair. United States Marines. I got my General. Got Yarki and Imperial Guard Infantry. And I think that's it. Yeah. I'm playing with Unicorn Tech of the Beta Clan, which I'm also part of. And you might have heard of him because he's pretty goddamn awesome. And yeah, they have a YouTube channel, or I guess we have a YouTube channel, and it's called um, it's called Total War Edict, and they are the host, we are the hosts uh, of the Beta Flash tournament, and you might know that if you're into the Total War multiplayer scene. Um, it's also uh, running that YouTube channel with Trust22, so if you heard of either of those, good for you. If not, you should, because they're pretty goddamn awesome, as said. And he has Shogun Guard, Red Bear, that's mine, he got his General, which is a 10 star. He got Toshis, Shogunut, yep, not the Unit Shogunut, and Red Bear, Shogunut, Yariki, and Yariki. And he's capturing this Sword Jojo. Our enemies, I think they're both from the TWG clan. And they got, uh, I think they got like four Toshas. Of course, we can't see every single one of them. That's the problem. Uh, it's because the general, which is a, I think, is a leadership? Can't remember. And it got Imperial ca uh, Imperial Infantry. There we go. Been out of this for too long. He got the White Bear Infantry and another unit of Toshas, as I said. He's got uh, his teammate, Megaspra. Megaspra? Yeah. He got Toshi Rifleman, he got Navy Seals, which is his United States Marines, he got Royal Marines, he got Black Tortoise Force, and on this flank, over on this flank, he's got Red Bass, Red Bass, and his Yariki, and not even of Yariki. And I think that's it, yeah, I, did I mention his name? Chiad, Chiad, yeah, something like that, I think it will put it back on play. And our tactic here was basically just to the bounce on onto this point and yeah, just see how it goes from there. Did I have Toshas? No, I didn't have Toshas. I had a 150 range or 250 range uh, guys. So well, we knew that we couldn't advance right here because of the loads of Toshas he got. But fortunately for me, as you're gonna see pretty soon, uh, my enemy provided me a kind of weak flank and I got my arc here right there and I think I was preparing them to break through but then I saw that he lined up like this but then I also saw that he was facing me with two units of red bear and that means I can push them back with my royal marines with that which has a range of 150 and they'll turn out to be pretty crucial and I got rest of my units hidden right here. Well, just advanced. Or did they advance? I don't think so. At least these guys, his total riflemen, his hidden total riflemen, they got some kills, but not too much. It's still pretty much a stalemate over here. And yeah, did he, did he do that already? Well, he's going to do. I'll tell you when it happens. So yeah, yeah, I uh, actually advanced with my entire line. Something that wasn't too too good of an idea on this flank, but still two against one, so kinda, I guess. But my opponent made a maneuvering maneuvering mistake, and his red bear in three got very much shot up. So in a desperation attempt descending his Yariki and me being the noob I am, I didn't actually prepare for them. Prepare to face them. But at least I have one unit of Yariki over here. So I'll charge these guys, and then they are close to routing already. And then, and then Unicorn Jack actually lent me his cav, and well, these guys were shot up by my uh, unit, not uh, my um, Royal Marines. There, there we go. 
but uh, with the help of uh, Unicorn Attack, the, it certainly was a lot easier to fend them off. So I didn't lose too many men. I lost, I think I lost like four, five maybe from the charge itself and the rest is from gunfire. So I sent the remainders of the Ariki over and tried to disrupt his line and was uh, kind of successful. But uh, I didn't really actually uh, have uh, that much line entry nonetheless. So his teammate of my enemy did send over his cab as well. So they're now charging both of my white bear infantry. And then I turn my Royal Marines and and uh, I'm going to fire at them along with my United States Marines. So these two, these two units of caught up cav is now fighting two units of Marines and that can only go one way. So there goes one along with my line infantry and there goes another. Yeah, there we go. Uh, along with my line tree? What did I retreat? I think I tried to retreat and yeah, there we go. They broke off. Just straight broke off. And yeah, after that I took my United States Marines because he advanced his United States Marines so we're now engaged in the battle. Which I'm kind of losing, but Unicorn Tag did send up his Shogun Guard infantry. So this will be interesting. Over on this flank, I tried to outflank him but I couldn't really well I didn't really have uh, the best positioning I guess because you can see his ass is totally right here and I think they're going to hide maybe not we'll see about that they still have 150 range again black bear infantry and there you go there they went uh, hidden and I've been right here before I could actually spot them and that's too bad so I tried to retreat them I think I'm successful some regard anyway so I'm spending a lot of my forces, but I'm making headway. I think I'm in the in the plus, if you can say it that way. So my United States Marines is actually uh, is actually beating his, and they, they just went hidden, and then they're going to be unhidden again pretty soon. Yeah, my Black Bears didn't route, but it was damn near close. So his United States Marines is still operational. They are taking some shots though. Not too heavy, not too heavy a barrage, but then again they aren't delivering too heavy of the barrage either. So I pull up my Imperial Guard infantry in order to try to help with it, but then I got shot by his torch rifleman and do I get the volley up? Yeah, I do. And do I pull back then? I think I did. At least I should have did. Should have done. There we go. English, yeah. So I tried to advance again, and yeah, same results. That was stupid. But these guys did become unhidden again, so I scoot scooched up my own Royal Marines because, yeah, that's his Marines. And yeah, I did take some shots at them, and I got the main volley off, so you can see they are quite down on men. They have gotten a lot of kills though, but so have my men, 207 kills. And that's a lot. <laughs> if you want to, if you wasn't aware, there we go. Uh, yeah. Then again, English really hard. So my main enemy now got only his Royal Marines left and these Total Riflemen. And at this point, my Royal Marines were actually out of ammo, so I just suicide charge them against his Toshas, and we'll pick on on that later. Meanwhile. Unicorn attack has made an attack on his right flank on his enemy and is pushing up with both the Torch Rifleman and Shogun Guard and uh, not even Torch Shogun Guard and he's uh, very good at disrupting these and Torch Rifleman aren't really good at uh, against Cav at all as you might imagine. So our enemy's left flank, their left flank is now breaking and I do have some, some uh, spare men. Spear men, not uh, carrying spears, but in reserve. And look at this, I didn't actually expect this, not at all. My Royal Marines actually reached its lines, and they are not to be trifled with the melee. Of course, nothing against a samurai unit, but still, they can hold their own, at least against Total Riflemen. So they actually slaughtered the Total Riflemen, and that was unexpected to say the least. 
And now we're wrapping up both of like, so our opponents, and he has, I think that's the, might be the only unit left? Yeah. I think so. They're, they're routed, and we have won the battle, and yeah, pretty convincingly. Not too, not too close. Certainly a nice battle. Quite enjoyed fighting that one. So, here you can see that the three of the four players actually chose the exact same number of troops. So, three of us have 660 men deployed, and she had only 480 men deployed. That's due to his excessive use of total riflemen, and yeah, that's why. Range and firepower. Sacrifice for... Uh, Sacrifice for quantity, and uh, surprisingly, you shouldn't do that. You should actually uh, try to go for uh, quantity over quality. I know it sounds strange, but actually, the, having the numerical advantage is is the preferred in most cases. Anyway, unicorn tag lost about half at uh, well, exactly half at uh, 330. I lost 420. And Chiat, he lost 349. And Megas Brandon, there you go, couldn't see his name uh, in uh, on the battle itself. He lost 519 guys. So we can take a look at the statistics. And here you can see the absolutely slaughter the Royal Marines did did uh, dash out, dish out, yeah, dish out. And yeah, they got the majority of my kills actually. So. 250 almost, and United States Marines at a, um, not a close second, but a distant second at around 100, and yeah, you can see here, Chad is number 2, and Social Ruffman had a lot of kills on uh, Unicorn Attack, I think, and here you can here you see Unicorn Attack, his Yariki, which actually tried to help me, did get a lot of kills, or did get most kills on his team, so there we go, not his team, um, yeah, in his army, I should say. And my opponent, Mega uh, Megas Brandon, he got 104 kills with Toshas, which I think are the... Yeah, has to be, because these are his only Toshas. So, these are the Toshas uh, that uh, my Royal Marines did slaughter. And yeah, his Royal Marines is at a second. And yeah, this name right here, what you call them, ter uh, ter Terminator and... Uh, makes me actually think it's Norwegian. I might be completely mistaken here, but uh, you know the Terminator, the film. Um, if you were to to write out the Terminator in Norwegian, the Terminator, the Terminator in Norwegian, you will spell it like that. So it might be Norwegian, might be Danish or something. I don't know. But thank you to my teammate Unicorn Jack. And if you want to check out his and Trust's channel, there will be a link on in the description below. And uh, yeah, good game with my opponent, and hopefully you enjoyed this battle. I'm back, I'll try to do more, and more consistently again. And yeah, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, and like, and uh, yeah, all that, favorites, yeah. And I will be seeing you guys next time. Goodbye.